speaking of Sam Harris by Feminist Ideologues, an open letter to Sam Harris. Dear Sam, welcome to the buzzsaw of Feminist Ideologues. Your experience with Feminist Ideologues does not surprise me, and if you want to know the foundation of political correctness demagoguery, look no further than the League of Women Voters. I do not think it is an accident that women do not follow your work, and that is not a good thing. It means to me that women do not feel the need to engage in the conversation, and that is a bad thing. And we need to ridicule them for it, not apologize for it. It's not, it's their bad, not ours. Jacqueline Glenn is a female atheist on YouTube and is exceptionally polite, yet she still has a majority of men following her. So I am sorry. The reason you don't have more women is probably more to do with the fact that women don't think it's their issue, not because of how you handle the issue. And I certainly would not recommend changing your demeanor for women. That is an even bigger insult to women, or at least it should be. The bottom line is women are not taking responsibility for politics. They are not taking responsibility for starting companies probably because women are not more risk averse. Gathering is safer than hunting, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. Women don't get to be leaders of Fortune 500 companies without starting Fortune 500 companies. Did a woman start Microsoft? Did a woman start Google? They could have, but they didn't. And shame on them for not doing it. Why do we have women-only chess competitions? Talk about sexists. Yet men, women, both justify this in a variety of ways. Should we? What is the physical advantage in chess? Girls do fine in spelling bees. Why make this exception in chess? Vijay Singh was called a sexist because he had the balls, or ignorance, to say a woman should not be allowed to play in a PGA event because she had not earned it. And he was right. Every man that gets to play in a PGA event has earned that spot. It is not given to him because he is a man. Why should it be given to someone because she is a woman? And giving it to a woman, you are taking it away from someone who has earned it. Sexism exists and is not what most people think it is, and it certainly is not what feminists say it is. Sexism is an egalitarian opportunity. The most egregious sexists that I am aware of all call themselves feminists. I was once told that rape insurance issue was not my issue because I was a man. I see. I have to pay, but I don't get a say. I thought we took care of that issue in Boston, but apparently women weren't invited. Too bad. Though I confess my stepbrother is a sexist for not letting women work the night shift, and I have ridiculed him for this publicly, pointing out that I am sure I am no better at dodging bullets than Samantha is. If you feel guilty for anything, it should be for not holding women more responsible why is feminism a good thing and masculinism a bad thing? You yourself admit you don't trust men, and it's because you were raised with the message men are bad, women are good. I know the feeling. I share with you a single mom experience. And when I felt that, I came up with a phrase that embodied that feeling. Behind every great man is a great woman. Behind every great woman is a jerk. It is easy to think feminism is a good thing, but it is just a thing. It is just perspective, and it cannot be the only perspective. I would not associate with MRAs, egalitarians, or anti-feminists if they were bad for women. I love the woman's perspective, but I have too long undermined the male perspective. 94% of all workplace deaths are men. When only men can be drafted, I know that women are not being respected. I know that women are not being held accountable. Giving women the right to choose and not giving men a similar opportunity 
we are undermining women. Feminism are not taking these issues up because with taking these issues up, they have to pick up the issue of responsibility for themselves. Feminism has clearly become the third rail of reason within the atheist community. How such a divisive term as feminist could even be considered egalitarian term is beyond me. Even Steven Pinker feels the need to wear the feminist banner for fear of career suicide. Steven Pinker is no feminist. He is clearly an egalitarian, as are you. Do not apologize for being fair-minded. Do not apologize for asking women to be responsible. 